Hello, my loves. I love a you. <gasps> Super cute. Have you seen this video? This Disney uh, little short? Too cute, too cute. Okay, I want to apologize. I didn't get a chance to do my uh, good morning video yesterday. Um, I sprained my wrist and then um, I, I uh, tore a tendon in my left bicep. So like, it's really hard for me to do anything. My computer was like, ow, 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 ow. Uh, so <laughs> it took me a little while to get things going, but we're ready to go. Um, let me share my screen with you because, oh, look, isn't that lovely? <laughs> there we go. Okay, this is the one I want to show you. Perfect. All right, so today's music I have, uh, I'm listening to uh, classical music today. And I wanted to share with you my student of the week, the awesome star students for this week. And what I'm looking for with star students is I'm looking for the students who do their work, get their work done on time, and they've met their minutes for um, iReady for reading and for, uh, for math. So scroll down, we have Chrisari. Congratulations, Chrisari. And um, make sure I put the right one in there. Yes, Mikael. Mikael, um, Andy, and Suzanne. Congratulations, you four. Amazing job. And then I have my all-stars. So we've added Kareem, Sean M, Sebastian, and Gerard to those all-stars. Those are the students who have made star of the week so far. If you want to get on that list for next week, you need to make sure that you have all of your iReady done. You need to make sure that you have all of your studies weekly done. Okay. Now, um, Mikael has proven that it takes some hard work, but it is possible to catch up. So he was a little bit behind and he and his family worked hard together as a team and they got everything caught up. He's now at an A. I think it might even be an A plus. So fabulous job. You all can do this. Okay. I'm not worried about if you did it, if you did it on Monday or on Tuesday or on Friday or on Sunday, as long as you get it, because what's inside that big, beautiful brain is what counts. Grades just tell us what you're capable of <coughs> in terms of taking a test or, or finishing an activity. It doesn't tell us what you're capable of in terms of kindness or intelligence or sports or creativity or art or music or friendship. You know, all of those things are super duper important. And, you know, take it from me, I'm a teacher. Those things are more important than grades. But grades are important because grades are a record of how awesome you are in school. So sometimes it's really hard to be awesome when things are going rush, 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 rush. But we're not rushing here. You have your time. You can do it over and over and over again and get it right. So this is the time to get those A's in there. That was really hard in the first, second, and third quarter. You can do it now. Because coming up in a few weeks, we've got the end of the year ceremony. And I'm already starting to write out those, uh, those awards for the A honor roll, the B honor roll, the bringing up grade awards, the perfect attendance awards. All of these amazing awards uh, are for the students who have worked hard. So students like Jasmine, who does everything on time or early, and she always gets 100% on all of her things. So students like that, um, who else does an amazing, amazing job? Who I've never, there's a few students where I don't even have to look to see if, like Paula. Paula's constantly doing her work. And other students where I'm thinking like, do I even need to check their grades? Cause I'm pretty sure they did them and got hundred uh, percent. Like Dylan, all right? So and now I know that you guys are home and sometimes moms and dads are working. So it's really hard to get it done. And sometimes, um, you know, life gets in the way. So, you know, just get it done when you can. That's all there is to it. All right, so let me show you. Is it down here? Nope, it's at the top. 
tippy top, there we go. So you saw this yesterday, not all superheroes wear capes, and you're going to see it on the page of awesomeness, you're going to see it here on today's math and science lesson page, and you're even going to see it when you go to my weekly lesson page. So here, I have it down right there, boom. And if you go to my weekly page right here, the week of May 11th, that's this week, and this is where you wanna go if you missed today. I just love that steam sign. And there it is yet again. And it says not all superhero wear capes. No capes. <laughs> make a sign, write a poem, or make a video showing your thanks. Includes doctors, nurses, hospital workers, truck drivers, grocery stores, FedEx and UPS drivers, Instacart drivers, Amazon drivers. Um, uh, wait, it's coming to me. It's coming. It's coming in my brain. The pizza delivery drivers. They need thanks because what, what could we do? What would we do without them? Oh my goodness. So make a sign, draw a picture. You can do it digitally. You can do it on paper. Make something to show your appreciation and then send it to Miss Levin. It's lleven at agabroward.org. All right. And send it by the 15th and include your name and your grade level. And what she's planning on doing is putting them up on Facebook, I believe, and also uh, maybe sending them out into the community. And if, if you want more information, feel free to email her. That's her email address right there. So go ahead and get going on that. Not all superheroes wear capes. People are doing amazing things uh, for us while, while we're in this situation. And where some people like me and you are sitting home safe and we're doing our learning job and our teaching job here from our houses, other people don't have that luxury. Other people are, are going out to work every single day. Maybe your, uh, your family members, my family members, my daughter is 15 and she's now going to work in a restaurant. She's working in my brother's restaurant because he needs help. And we don't have a lot of employees right now because we don't have a lot of business. So she's going in there and she's working for free because he needs help. And you know what? That's what friends and family do. You know, plus she gets free lunch and I get free lunch too. So that's really awesome. <laughs> and she's a great cook. So, you know, so I, maybe, maybe I should write one of these for her. Maybe I should do a thank you note for her and for my brother so that, because they feed me. <laughs> I think that's a good idea. I think I'm going to do this with you. So I want you guys to go ahead and get going on that. Which reminds me, I don't know what happened last Thursday. I was in meeting after meeting after meeting. And, and then, so I actually missed one meeting because I was in the middle of another meeting. And then I realized the day after I said, wait, weren't we supposed to have a meeting? I am so sorry. I don't know. And she's too busy. But this Thursday, I made an alarm and I put it on my calendar. So if somebody tries to schedule a meeting with me, it's going to say, nope, she's busy. Okay, because you guys, you come first. <laughs> All right, my loves. So happy Tuesday morning and get going on those uh, projects and learning and so exciting all of this about volcanoes and mountains and things like that. All right. Okay. Love you. Bye. Ouch. Ouch. That hurt. <laughs>